right, I just wanted to make a quick video going over the read think wonder chart because I was looking at them and most of you have filled it in through chapter six, which is awesome. Um, but some of you still have not. So my guess was that maybe you didn't know how to do it. So I'm going to just really quickly go over what the read think wonder chart is. Now, when you look at your read think wonder chart, you'll see that there are 19 chapters and one epilogue. An epilogue is basically like an extra chapter after after the last chapter and we'll talk about it when we get there. So you have to fill out your read think wonder chart for all 19 chapters and that's a lot of work so do not wait until the day that this is due to do it. Now this is going to be due when we finish the hatchet book so it's probably not going to be due for at least another two weeks but still do not wait until then. So there are three parts that you have to fill out for each chapter. You have to do the read, the think, and the wonder and you have to do this for every single chapter. So the read part of the chapter just means what did you read in the chapter? What happened in the chapter? So in chapter one, we read that Brian's parents are divorced and he is going to his dad's house in Canada. His mom gives him a hatchet and the pilot has a heart attack. You're giving a quick summary, which is an overview of what happened in the chapter. It does not have to be complete sentences. It can be quick phrases. Um, it could be Brian's going to Canada whatever happened in that chapter. The think is whatever thoughts you have while you're reading the chapter. So while I was reading chapter one, Brian kept mentioning this hatchet. So in my mind, I was thinking, okay, well, if he keeps talking about the hatchet, it must be important. So I wrote the hatchet seems important. And then I also wrote that Brian seems upset about his parents' divorce. Whenever he's talking about his parents' divorce, he always seems kind of sad or angry. So that was just what I was thinking when I was reading chapter one. There's no right or wrong answer here. Whatever you think while you're reading the chapter is correct. Just write it down. And then the last one is wonder. We do this all the time. It's what questions do you have about the chapter? Now there um, are not a certain amount of reads, thinks, and wonders that you have to have for each chapter. I'm not gonna be counting each one of them. Instead, I'm gonna be looking at to make sure that you have something in the read, the think, and the wonder for all 19 chapters, okay? So I went through and I looked at it and I let you know, hey, you're doing great so far, or you need to come in and you know make this up. As a reminder, you have the Hatchet book. You also have the read alouds for every single chapter in the Google Classroom. So if you have not started your read, think, wonder, chart. You really need to start it so that you're not behind, okay? Let me know if you need any help. You can also stay after class.